Grand rising. God's morning. God's day. It's Empress Jennifer here. I hope everyone is having a beautiful morning. I am getting some of that good old Yahshua sun rays coming through. It's feeling lovely on the skin, on the body, with the, you know, the dew of the morning, the cool, brisk feeling so far, because I think it's going to get a little warm, but it's okay. Uh, but anyway, now, you know, I was looking for an item in my car, right? And by the way, we won't go over that because I'm going to continue to look before I come to conclusions. But nevertheless, if there was anything taken from my vehicle in the last couple of days from the location that I was at recently, and you try to do any type of spell work over me, my life, or anything to do with my life, I've already spoken to the Most High about such a thing. So you can already count it as a lost. Because anything you stole for me is now made aware with me and so now that item has nothing to do with me it has everything to do with you and your character and what you think you have stolen if you went through any of my paperwork while I was at that location And you're doing anything with anything that I have not been associated with since I've been on this journey of cluster duckery because of illegitimate species in human form that service Satan. Okay. So anyway. Uh, just know. That if you took anything. From my car. It is now yours. So if you cursed it. The curse is coming back to you. Okay. So. I want you to know that. Okay. You really need to stop impeding intrusively in my life because my ancestors they are aware and of course the most high you know the open sky that I've already mourned you about the open sky is the most high's eye so therefore whatever you think you're doing that humans have not caught on to yet. The Most High is always there. Formulating, calculating your downfall unless you make it right. But nevertheless, never think that you will not be punished. That's what forgiveness, asking with a contrite, broken heart unto the most high first. Right. So then maybe your punishment, well, your punishment you can possibly 
surpass instead of succumb to? <laughs> you know, unless, um, I don't know, some of you have that Judas Escarot spirit that's cloaking you. You're just destined for doom because you do not know when to quit. You do not know when you have a demonic attachment attached to you that won't let you know that not only does the Most High see you, not only does the archangels see you, and the person ancestors see you and are ready to go on fleek mode warrior mode at the word of my mouth and so here it is please ancestors archangels my warrior ancestors please go on fleek mode for you know there are many encompassing around me in portions and are harming me and others so by any means necessary please go on fleek mode expose get rid of because that's not anything new to you because you did it in Sodom and Gomorrah. You did it in Babylon. You fought Pharaoh when he held your people captive. For you to do it again, Most High. Because you're the circle of the sun that we see or the moon, it has circled around again and it is affecting my life and my forward movement. And I'm asking the Most High to pass judgment. <clears throat> and if you see anything in my heart, Most High, that ought not be, please remove it. And as you pass your righteous judgment against me and them, I'm grateful for your grace and mercy. But I am asking you to please bring back my things that the enemy has stolen. Remove them out of my pathway. Remove any blockages that they try to bring in my way. Expose this copycat, this liar, this fraudster, the one who tried to have my YouTube shadow ban because the truth will always take precedence over a lie. Like I said, it may take a day two, three months, years, but you will be taken down. That's a guarantee. I don't know you, uh, Honorable Pope, but you know this, you are aware of this, that it does not matter when it happens. Just know that it will happen. And you don't need the scrolls or, or the hidden knowledge to know this. Okay, so you're knowing it today on September 19th, 2024. You're knowing it today, okay? But you already see it as I've stated before. As you watch the news, as you watch things going on in the stars. I mean, Hollywood or Hollywood, however you want to place it. Okay. And 
wherever else uh, the news is focusing in on at this particular time. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, warrior ancestors. Keep up the good work. Because as I know of it, the words say, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. There's an imbalance. I do not deserve for someone to continue to try to steal from me and make me obsolete like I don't even exist and think you're going to walk in my shoes and I not pray to the Most High and ask that you be exposed and taken down. So I employ everyone to do the same. If you feel that there is an injustice and imbalance on the earth, politicians, you make the laws. Is my human rights not being stripped of me by someone who works in your Feel stature, who is taken away or, yes, taken away, but grace and mercy and the highest judgment is imminent and will come. According to Ezekiel 33, 7 and 9, I mean, humans, human beings, we look, we, we share our body, we, we have blood in our veins. Yeshua, let your blood be in me, cleanse me. Although this is my life in this realm, but you were a perfect example of who not to become. So let me walk therein in this lifetime and fulfill my righteous pathway and destiny because I, not like Jacob, have given anyone authority to have or take anything that belongs to me, including my time. So I ask the Most High to pass the highest righteous judgment on whoever is responsible for trying to take my civil liberties as a human being, might I add, a law-abiding citizen who have tried to live on this earth among other humans who tried to shut me down as you did Yahshua. Yahshua, my Savior, the Most High, my Abba Yah, my Father, my dwelling place shall not be brought to disgrace at the hands of human beings that he has created. Now, I have asked for help. There are entities in this realm for Things such as someone being stalked, being stolen from, being sought after to kill someone who has been exploited. There are laws in place. What are you law officials doing? Are you looking into my complaint 
or are you still wondering if the perpetrator is in the right? Most High, I'm going to need for you to go in the courtroom, go to the White House, go to the Department of Justice, send the ministering angels, archangels, who needs to figure this imbalance out that is being done against me and has continued for many, many years. Yeshua, your life that you laid down for us has paid for this too. And by your stripes, I claim the victory. I claim that there is closure. I command closure. These entities who are to protect and serve those who have come to you upright, not the ones who are sitting up there making false claims about me and cannot prove anything, but yet you follow me around from town to town, state to state, and you <clears throat> have nothing to go on based upon your lies that you have already told about me. And I don't know if anyone else is going through a loss of stolen property or stolen inheritance. Uh, hopefully you have done the right thing by going to law enforcement, praying about it. And hopefully law enforcement is paying attention to your complaint, seeking into it, and not trying to capitalize off your pain and misery before they bring you a victory when you when they know that you deserve it. Now, as I know of it, Sandra, so I was raised in your home. In the whole time, you were a major threat to me, unbeknownst to me. But yet, I still show love to you because I was oblivious to all the damage or all the witchcraft that you did over my mental state that is now being obliviated. Thank you, Yeshua, for the bright sun, the cleansing of your beautiful sun from all the damage from many, many years ago, days ago, not allowing uh, these witches and warlocks and covens who howl at the beautiful moon in the majesty and the glory of your beautiful moon, but yet they come out here to cause harm instead of ask you, can you bring balance into the economy? People are losing their houses, not, uh, well, because things are just way too expensive. And yet, the rich are getting richer and the poor are steady getting poorer. And nobody who has these spiritual gifts are focused in on that. They were the focus in on trying to take somebody's destiny that is not willing to give it to you. They're willing to steal instead of pray and ask, most I turn this around. If those in power or those who have much won't give back what you have given to them, but yet they just watch their money go up and steady just keep crushing your people down, down. No, shift change, shift 
change. I command a shift change on this earth. Greedy people. No, I'm not saying that you need to give up what you know, what you do, but do you not see the harm, the hurt, the uh, poverty, the ones like myself who should not be here and want to get out of this rut, but yet you sit back and you watch your account, you watch how you can capitalize off of it. And yet that big old open sky that you look up to and that moon that you howl at doing ritualistic dark practices may be servicing you to continue to capitalize. But the day, the minute, second, or hour is nigh. Things are going to crumble. Where you can help, help. Don't cause harm. This earth is big enough for everybody. As I ride on these country streets and see all this beautiful landscape. So I know it's elsewhere that I have not even treaded my feet in. So yet you continue to continue to crush people. But yet there are many beautiful lives being birthed every day as I speak. There's a life coming into the world, but yet what you do is try to kill life. God say, I give you life that your soul shall prosper in the things of me that you shall live. Although we know that one day we are going to die, but I do not believe he asks you to control that because he has already written how he wants our life to go about. But there are things in place for those who do the wrong thing. Of course there is. But for so many people to um, see poverty in their own states, but yet they go to another country and um, set up missionary camps over there, but yet you lose sight of the people who are living right here and the prices of food is steady going up. I don't know. Bill Gates, why did you buy all all the farmland? Why? Let's be honest and tell the people why. I mean, like I said, I see all this beautiful land. Why have you or y'all or whomever taken this stance to destroy farmland and buy out farmers' crops? Why? And then food is steady going up. Um, The questioning. (laughs) I was in uh, uh, one state, you know, trying to uh, apply for food stamps because, you know, my income is less than $500. But by the grace and mercy of the Most High, I'm somehow the miracle of the Most High. I'm making it through this crushing of another individual who in their skin has afflicted me with um, poverty. Um, But yet they don't know that the Most High is looking 
He's writing it down. And one day soon, an execution of what you have done to me and others is going to come upon you and your stability. And in his words, he says, some of us are going to perish because we won't be able to handle what is going to come upon you because of the things you've done to others. It doesn't go like that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of the, uh, you're going to see things and it's going to just shock you because your, your, your system is not going to be ready to obtain what is going to transpire. Or because you've forgotten about when he told the rich man, give up everything and come follow me. They wasn't willing to do that. But yet somehow that parable is not yet complete. If you know what I mean. Let's reciprocate that. Let's do the reciprocal. Just because you don't want to give it up, does that mean that the Most High won't make you or put you in that position that you have put others in? That's what I'm getting at. That's what the Word wants you to know. That's what the Most High wants you to know. You cannot continue to impede on another person's rights that have not done anything to you, that have not broken any of the laws to be imprisoned or jailed, but have been socially engineered, methodically and strategically by those in positions who are able to do something about my predicament in this economy. So I call the highest righteous judgment that this imbalance, this affliction that you have brought upon me unwarranted because half of you I don't know on a personal basis. Some of you I do. But yet, you have come for my life. You have come for my peace. You have taken things from me. Unwarranted. And the Most High must bring balance. Because that's who he the Most High is and a surety that balance shall come upon the earth even in death. <laughs> Did you think Yeshua was on the cross or the stake just to be up there? Now, anyway, I want the entities that are law enforcement, law makers, law officials to please bring me my information. I did not, I do not relinquish my rights as a kingdom citizen on this earth to anyone. I want my things that belong to me. My ancestors, blood, sweat, and tears. The hand that wrote my name on things that were stolen by another. 
my ex exes you are a thief you came into my life on a mission people people come into your life they have a mission they have a purpose is it for good or is it for bad in my case because of the uncandid um, the darkness of Sandra who was already working and instilling darkness over my life as a little babe be careful what you do to the little ones it is better for you to put a cloak around your neck and take yourself out that's what that means than to try to misguide someone Ezekiel 33 7 and 9 into the universe where it is applicable to whom it is applicable um so therefore, I want my things. I want my day in court, if such a thing, if it's necessary, if there's court going on, why aren't I there? Who is the liar standing in my place? I want this to end. Um, it has gone on long enough people going around getting plastic surgery to look like somebody that's deep that's psychotic you need help you need your darkness to uh, be rid of because there's something wrong with you to try to take someone else life their light their face and then think that that is good enough when the most high individually created us and then he knows what's in my heart he knows what's in your heart and like you did succeed for a span yeah you did but time is up <clears throat> time is truly up I believe that wholeheartedly time is up for people stealing trying to crush another so you can go up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. And I pray right now for those who are struggling with substance abuse, sexual abuse, that those who truly want to be delivered from that, that you be delivered today. That the Holy Spirit just surround you with love. 